Cristiano Ronaldo and The Rock are two world-famous athletes, and both of them don't hesitate to flaunt their luxurious life. But who truly lives the most lavish life? Let's first take a look at these shining, expensive watches, which are worth more than many people's houses, but whose wrist is more expensive. Dwayne The Rock Johnson's collection is nothing short of impressive. He has been seen wearing various luxury rare watches, starting the tag he wore Monaco with a price tag of $7,500, Breitling Super Ocean Heritage, worth $8,000, a Rolex Yacht Master that costs $28,000, and also an Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore White Gold with a price tag of $47,000. But Cristiano Ronaldo's collection is unmatched. The cheapest watch in his collection is the Rolex GMT Master II White Gold, which is priced at $485,000, which is more than the price of the entire Rocks collection. And Ronaldo also has the Jacob & Co. Grand Baguette, which is priced at $1,000,000. And not only this, there are many watches like Yobelot Torbulon King Gold, Frank Muller Crazy Horse Curvex, and even Gerard Parago Planetarium. All these luxury watches are priced up to $2 million. Now let's talk about their crazy car collection. How many Bugattis? Two. Ferrari? Ferrari, two. McLaren? Two. Rolls? You came into Rolls today. Two? Yeah. <laughs> Two, 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 two. Both icons have impressive cars, but who wins the crown? The Rock's garage is a car lover's dream. The Rock has been spotted with a range of impressive cars, including a $2.6 million Pagani Huera, the most extravagant car in his collection. His collection also includes a $500,000 Ford GT660, a $450,000 Lamborghini Aventador, and a $350,000 Rolls-Royce Wraith. On the other hand, Cristiano Ronaldo's collection includes a $3.1 million Bugatti Bugatti Chiron, a $2.5 million Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport Vitesse, and a $2 million Ferrari Monza SP1. In the battle of cars, The Rock's collection surpasses Ronaldo's, but Ronaldo's collection is also not far behind. But we talked about their journey on roads. What about their means of peaceful air travel? The Rock has a Gulfstream G650 private jet that comes with a hefty price tag of $70 million. And Ronaldo also has the same Gulfstream G650 private jet but with a little bit more comfort, which is valued at $73 million. Further, let's also know about their properties and investments in real estate. Cristiano Ronaldo is building one of Portugal's most luxurious mansions, which is estimated to cost 18 million pounds. But wait, there's more. He has a house on the beach in southern Spain, which is worth around $1.6 million. And if that's not enough, he also has an apartment in Trump Tower, New York, in the USA. On the other hand, Perak's Mediterranean-style mansion in Beverly Hills, worth $27.8 million. Apart from this, he has also taken a farm for himself in Powder Springs, USA, cost a staggering $9.5 million. Last but not least, let's talk about their businesses. Both of them earn millions of dollars not only from their sports, but also from their businesses. From entertainment to entrepreneurship, Entrepreneurship. These industry giants have their fingers in many fields. Ronaldo has invested in fashion with CR7, which is worth 102 million euros globally. A luxury hotel chain, Pestana CR7, in which he invested around 40 million dollars. His business list is too long, which you can watch in this video. And on the other hand, The Rock owns Seven Bucks Productions, a fitness brand, Athletica, and also has a stake in the tequila brand, Terramana, which could be valued at approximately 3.5 billion dollars. And recently, he has also ventured into the football industry by investing in UFL. We launched, we finally launched the UFL, the United Football League. From production company to hotel chains, both icons have built lucrative careers beyond their respective fields. The luxury lifestyle comparison of these two ends here, and Cristiano Ronaldo wins this comparison battle. But if you have any other argument to defend your favorite, do leave it in the comments below. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe soccer with me.